I spoke in front of literally 10,000 people in, um, at a time and never was nervous for a second. And I was plugging in the guitar today and my hands were shaking because I have never done this. So you guys have to bear with me. I'm going to forget some words. I'm going to probably forget to do some chord changes, but we're going to have fun. When I say we, that means all of us because you get to sing with me on the courses today. All right, so how you doing, 240? Yeah. Good. All right, so you know what's scary about all this? How many of you have actually read Scott's book, Cover to Cover? All right, it is a phenomenal work of art. And I got news for you. Bubba did not fart. Bubba sharded. And if you read the book, you know what that means. <laughs> if you haven't, you don't know what it means, but you will when you read it. It's a wonderful book. Um, i like to thank many of you in here for your input for this song. I solicited some input, and a lot of you responded. Um, there are a lot of things in here that, um, <laughs> that came out of his book. You know, Scott claims that book, no kidding, as his life's work. And that's not misconstruing any words. That's a quote, is it not, Scott? It is, absolutely. So there's all kinds of things in there that uh, are most interesting. You know, we've heard about Becky's butt boy. So the first money that really came to Sea Warrior, when we first were called Sea Warrior, was $247,000 in 2004, early 2004. We were going to connect CMS ID at that time. We called it Jazz still, didn't we, back then, Kathy? We were going to connect it with a five vector models, the five vector model, and we need $247,000 to do it. And I was told to go give a brief to Admiral Crisp, Donna Crisp, in Norfolk. And uh, so Kathy and I worked on this brief, brief and uh, Kathy stayed with me in the hotel room working on that until 2 a.m. I stayed on it until 5 a.m. We briefed at 8 a.m. and we got $247,000. That's the very first time we ever got money with the name Sea Warrior attached to it. <laughs> she's, just, she's, she's being PC. We were in my room and we finished it at two. But everything was legit, I promise you. So my. <laughs> David, we talked about you on a flight before we even knew that she knew that you existed. So. <laughs> he just has an understanding. Yeah. So, um, so Scott and I go back to 2003. And uh, um, at that time, we were still M&P and t and &E, And Scott was on the T&E side, and I was on the M&P side. And uh, Vice Admiral Moran uh, wanted us to do something. and. Uh, and he said, well, Dan, how much money is it going to cost you to do that? A million dollars, sir. And he said, do you have it? And I said, no, sir, I don't. And he said, Scott, you got money, don't you? And Scott said, yes, sir. He said, give Dan $2.4 million. <laughs> so about two months later, we're back in the room again with uh, Admiral Moran. He says, well, Dan, how's that program coming? Remember, Scott and I were on opposite ends of this discussion. And I said, well, I can't get Scott to give me that money. I had no clue what was coming. And Scott, being Scott, the wonderful diplomat that he is, looked at me and just shook his head and goes, Dan, it ain't that easy to move money from T&E to m &P. Let me educate you. In other words, you ass. What is your throwing me under the bus, right? So uh, we merged m and and t and &E, and guess who my boss was? Scott Dunlap. <laughs> and he forgave me. And he's been a great friend and mentor, but that doesn't mean we're not going to kill you. <laughs> in this song, okay? So, um, um, I, I can't tell you um, how many people have input into this. Uh, my wife, Jo, of course, has helped me with it, and she's sorry she can't be here tonight. She loves you to death. Um, and um, she has heard me street sing this song and play it about 50 times. And uh, when I volunteered about three months ago to do this, I did it, number one, because I really love Scott. I mean, I believe that when I'm done. But, um, and also, to quote Miss Young's Lou, what she said today, you know, you said you're primarily an introvert, but getting in positions that make you become an extrovert make you grow. And I've been wanting to write some songs I haven't really been serious about until recently. And I said, this is going to make me work hard. And like I said, when I plugged in the, um, the guitar earlier tonight and did a sound check, my hands were literally shaking. So bear with me. We'll have some fun. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to play. And as I play, when we get to the course, it's going to pop up on that screen over there. And for those of you who don't know the song Lucille by Kenny Rogers, um, 
um, don't know the melody. Um, just picture, in, oh, in homage to, to Scott and his heritage, just picture a bunch of Arkansas rednecks doing the waltz together, and you'll be just fine, okay? So. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Oh, he does know a little bit about Urban there, J.D. In a bar in New Orleans, drinking old bourbon, you sat thinking of what you had done. Done? Oh, that's what I said. That's the short version. We're going to get to the long version here in just a minute. <laughs> of revolutions and training, IT and what's remaining, but you thought mostly of dumb. <laughs> When the drinks finally hit you, you said, Ken is no quitter, and Laura is finally gone. <laughs> Hungry for laughter, and here ever after, you're after whatever retirement brings. But the memories, they still haunt you, you think of Mark Compton and the pain of giving 240 life. The hours on the road of leaving Robin alone and the stresses and the strains of Mike. Your hair gets more gray now. Your face gets more wrinkled. And your gait has almost slowed to a crawl. Just as you're leaving, you heard us all coming as we stood up as a group and we all. You picked a fine time to leave us, dear Scott. The transformation in turmoil and reduction in ass. We dealt with Kevin, adjusted to Justin. But the cloud is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> you take the fine time to leave us, dear Scott. <laughs> you talk us about weirdness, about drug deals and murders, and things that stuck really bad. About Arkansas math growing up being called dumbass. All without being too crass. About bureaucratic suck and all of that muck. You thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? <laughs> We're surprised you haven't lost your mind. You must have been thinking about fruit speed and two rates, or perhaps just your favorite bovine. Come on. Walnut Ridge, Arkansas, where everyone is named Dunlap. You rode into the town on a mule with your sister and three cousins to whom you were married. You said you were nobody's fool. Where was I? <laughs> I just can't get over the sister and three cousins. <laughs> you wanted to be a nuke, but that was just a fluke. So you got your degrees instead. Studying economics and working as an analyst, but thumb kept rolling around in your head. You picked a fine time to leave us, dear Scott. Transformation in turmoil and reduction in mass. We dealt with Kevin, adjusted to Justin, but the cloud is just a pain in the ass. You take the fine time to leave us here, Scott. <laughs> 